They say one man's trash is another man's treasure, and for better or worse, Tel Aviv is full of treasures all over the city. Well, dirty or not, one artist is so inspired by Tel Aviv that he spent the last 13 years taking discarded pieces of wood off the city streets and giving them new life. Joining me in the studio today is French artist David Cherel to tell us more about his work. David, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thank you, thank you. So I'm already excited to hear about this. Tell us, what about Tel Aviv inspired you to make art out of discarded wood? Actually, I'm in love with the city and I start to take pictures of Tel Aviv um, maybe 10 years ago. So I get thousands and thousands of pictures of Tel Aviv. And um, I met Alia, okay, so I live here now. And I was looking for, um, for a place to print pictures. And it started by chance. I found a wonderful piece of wood uh, just in front of a building. Of a building. And, um, and I, I remember something I learned in New York um, uh, when I was a student, in, uh, maybe 15 years ago. And, uh, and, I, and I, I, remember, um, I remember something to print, like Polaroid on almost everything. On, on, on right, so you could also do that on wood, not just on N paper. Not just on paper, not just on wood, but on fabrics, on metal. Wow. And, um, and when, I, when I found the, um, the piece of wood, um, I said to myself, OK, let's try with, uh, with this panel, because uh, it was a, a very old panel, OK, something like from the 50s. Uh, Which I think is like the coolest thing about Israel, because this is a city that's full of you know, old and new, and you really see that contrast exactly. all the time. Exactly. And I, I live in the north of the city, and uh, there's always a, a building waiting to be renovated. Absolutely. So it's, it's very interesting, you know? And for you as an artist, if, if you realize that you can make your art out of these discarded pieces of wood that you find everywhere, I mean, there must be so many options because we're seeing renovations happen here all the time. So how long have you been doing this? Um, okay, I, I start for almost two years when I came in Israel. But I think when I, when I look at my old notebooks, okay, I think I start maybe maybe 15 years ago during my study, you know. So right. what well, all comes back to the beginning when exactly. you were learning. So what are some of the main images that you print onto these pieces of wood that you find? I do city snapshot. So it's like what your eyes can see. Okay? It's picture of the city but uh, it's not with wide angle or or tele teleobjective zoom. It's really what you see, what you feel, and... Um, and I imagine the texture of the wood, which is something, it's such a unique kind of form to work with, really is able to kind of show what the city is like, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. It works like the memory, you know, with uh, some noise in the picture. The same thing with yeah. texture. Now, it's funny because I know I myself would love that to, to be able to have kind of a piece of Tel Aviv in my home. Yeah. But it's artwork that you can put up on the wall that you can really kind of put up throughout the house. Yeah. Now, have you always used such unconventional materials like wood? Uh, for now, I'm working with wood because uh, I love the soul of, of, the, of the item. And um, it's very, oh, how to explain, when, when you get, OK, there's a random, uh, random wood fund, OK? Mm -hmm. So um, we have wood from yellow, to, until dark. Right, there are so many different yeah, colors. So many different colors, right? And, uh, and textures also. So it's, for now, I'm working on wood, but. Right, because you never why knows. white yeah. use any other material when there's such yeah, a range. Sure. Wow, so I mean, this is something that I think that you've created that's very, very special. You're really also kind of helping the environment in a way by using these pieces of wood that would otherwise be thrown into the trash. And um, it's allowing people to kind of take a piece of the city home. So congratulations, yeah, and I'm sure thanks. everybody's looking forward to your exhibit. Yeah, yeah, and we start also to, to send it in France or in, uh, in UK, so it's, uh, it's very nice, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much for coming in, David. Great, thank you.